Wow, extreme good, yeah. Your notice didn't go off. Give it a second. It'll go off here shortly. It's got it's got a little bit of a delay on it. Ah. I think. Ken L. Thomas, Elder Millennial. Welcome. And my dog is going crazy for some reason. And I did not change the title of the stream. Yay, me. Hello, Kim. You are, like, really focused in on you. Huh? I see, like, half a face. Half a face? Of... Half a face. On, on Twitch? Uh, on the Discord feed. Right, oh, let me try moving my phone sideways. Okay. It, it's just the way the phone was doing it. Okay. So it's all your fault. Now, all right. now, now that you are sideways, you are somewhat center. Mostly centered. Slightly off, but mostly centered. I am always <laughs> slightly off. <laughs> Hi, Angel. Hello, Angel. And hello, everyone. On Nice beholder on the wall. Thank you. His name is Gary. Oh, Gary. now the announcement came through. How huh, what? Now the announcement came through. Ah, did it? I told you there's a slight delay on the announcement. For some of those of you that are watching at home, you may notice I'm wearing headphones. That's because we got a little... You know, this is basically... My, my son has... Uh, determined uh hi uh barbara my son has determined this is not really a live q a it's more of a podcast where i have just anybody pop up and talk uh, i think i'm gonna i'm gonna change the name of it from live q a to the podcast or we have to come up with a good name for our podcast the the, the mimic gazette um i don't know just something mimics to think about. Brew. The Mimics Brew? That does not sound appetizing. Uh, <laughs> live Q and Q. No, live Q and A. What is today? 08 slash done so how are y'all doing hello 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 well, we are people. we are concerned about friday concerned <laughs> that's how about, we are doing <laughs> concerned about friday i am doing well today uh tigger dragon tiger dragon tiger <laughs> tigger bouncy 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 fun 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 and the most wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. <laughs> Greetings, adventurers. Hello. How are y'all doing this evening? Friday. So Friday night's game, I am killing everyone. Now, now by everyone, are, are you meaning everyone in the party or everyone in the world? No, I'm not destroying my world. <laughs> I've got, I've still got like two. I, <laughs> I've still got like uh, two two hundred years before I destroy. I'm about 150. Uh, have I read any of the FR books? What are the FR books? I Forgotten Realm. The what? Forgotten Realm. Forgotten Realms books. Oh, as in the the stories? Uh, not in a very long time. Uh. I've read a lot of the early ones, but I haven't read anything that's, I haven't read any D&D storybooks, novels, past 92, 93. Um, Lee, did you get Spelljammer for D&D Beyond? 
Did I get Spelljammer for D&D Beyond? You mean the one that goes live tomorrow? Yeah. Yes, I did. Okay, I did too. I also got this box set coming. I, I do not have the box set coming. Ooh, whoever gave me likes, thank you. Ah, thank you, thank you. So, yeah, the, the, the live set, there are going to be restrictions until I read through the entire book. They have a squirrel race. A flying squirrel race. There, There is restrictions. I want my Thrycreen. <laughs> Thrycreen? Thrycreen are allowed. Thank uh, you. Because, because we have we have a large tribe of Thrycreen in uh, Oxorin, so... I had the homebrew one there for a while, but then I heard about this official one coming out. I'm like, here we go. <laughs> now that we have an official Thrycreen Cream coming out, so that's going to be fun. So, Angel, how late are we staying up to read this? Because it will be dropping on at midnight. You know I stay up very late, so you know. <laughs> I, I will be up at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, or actually... No, my wife probably goes in at 7, so I'll be up at 6 o'clock in the morning, so I will not be up late reading this. But I'm not going to say that I'm working in the back office tomorrow and that I'm not saying that I will have my phone open, and I'm not saying that it will be open to TD Beyond uh, and the Spelljammer book. I'm not saying that, but there's that large possibility that it will be. I, I, I happen to have a, a iPad that I use only for drawing that may just find another program on it. It just <laughs> uh, all it all it needs is that browser. Oh. I hate Safari. Oh, I don't use Safari. Safari sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's not compatible with anything. Oh the um yeah, it's not really, a, it's not a very good browser. It wasn't when it was called Netscape either. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but it was better than Internet Explorer. Yeah, but Edge is pretty good now. Mm, sure. I said pretty good. I didn't say it was the best. Nice dungeon. Thank you. This is my, this is, this is the game room. So I'm going to give you all a, there's, there's the game books. There's the game table. Over there is where Dragon's going to be eventually. See, if I don't ever finish the Dragon, I can never be upset about how bad it turns out. Are you going to do it live from outside with that giant dragon of yours? No, I, I, I have a a section of the, of the wall that is a circle that my original idea is to put a dragon's eyeball looking in the room. Yeah, he's been wanting me to somehow do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, why? Think right. about trying to figure out a way to make a that's picture the, and you can like print it off somehow. I don't that's know. the books. That's my napping couch. That's the circle on the wall there. So y'all can't see this on Twitch and Discord, but you, that's the circle that the dragon's gonna, head's going to be in. The game table. My airship in the background. Because I mean, huh? You know, how big's the the circle? Ah, uh, about three and a half feet across. So the size of a sideways poster. It's a it's a so do it's that. a huge size circle, and I've got That's a staple print. <laughs> I've Give got, me the dimensions, and I'll work on something on Photoshop. I, I've got. Like a, a carving in it, or just a, mm -hmm. a pressure carving relief, but I don't want to finish it because I I don't want to fuck it up. <laughs> because mm. I'm I've got because what I know I have to do is I have to to make it look right. I actually have to set it. I have to carve out like the whole section and redraw it. 
so it has that depth that I'm looking for. I mean, it's a because it's sculpting, so I have to. Yeah. To, to if I it. lived closer, I'd help. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's one of those. As long as I don't finish it, I can't fuck it up. <laughs> That's the philosophy, anyway. I would show you the other section, um, but right now it is uh, got a lot of laundry. This is only a, this is only about half of uh, of it. The bar is on the other half. Uh, I've got a pub table that's covered with uh, dice making stuff. Uh, the bar that's got robots and empty pizza boxes and a Dalek on it. Uh, a couch that's Dalek. got full of laundry. And then my shell, some of my shelves that have some of my action figures. Uh, my Transformers. Uh, my bat symbol hanging or my, my, literally the bat signal. Um, from Superman versus Batman. I stole it from Walmart. Uh, well, just the face of it, we were throwing it away. I borrowed it. Yes, that's Gary in the background. Liberated, liberated it. It uh, required freedom. Gary, Gary was was uh, given to me by one of our followers, uh, Ty. So yeah, Ty, Tyler, Ty Rose. He he sent me Gary. Somebody, I'm still waiting for the the dragon head. It should be coming in at some point. I opened this up to see something, and I don't. Remember. Who got you the dragon head? Ah, uh, oh, now I remember what I. I have to look back into uh, the TikTok to find the person that sent me the that's sending me the dragon head. Someone on TikTok did. Yeah. Wow. I just have people demanding free art, and you're getting dragon heads and beholder heads. <laughs> oh, the beholder is a head. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. So apparently, uh, apparently, the it just I just got another message from the individual from a uh, brand horse that said it arrived on the 13th. So uh, it just arrived at my mailbox Saturday. Uh, and what's for 4321? I am looking now to see how close we are to the BBEG. I'm pulling up analytics. Drum roll, please. And I don't need the overview. All right. We are currently at 19,827 followers. 827? 827. So that means we 100 need 173. 173 more followers, and the BBEG goes out. And we did that without a calculator. Yes, we have math. And the box is ready to go. Let me see if I can. It's sitting in that chair right over there. I've already taped it closed, stuffed everything in it, and I had to, uh, I had to take some things and put them inside other things to make it fit. And I got down to the last two items. I'm like, crap! I, I don't want to take it out of the box because some people collect the. It's that little Funko Pop goblin, and I was like, I don't want to take it out of the box because some people collect them. But it won't fit with the box. So I took it out of the box, wedged him in there a little bit, uh, flattened the box out and stuffed it in there too. So if they want to put it back in the box, they can. Tetris packing, definitely. I, I had to, once I got it all out and spread out for that one video, it was, I was like, okay, now I have a chance to, to make it all fit. 
It all came out of here. Why is it not going back in? <laughs> I was no, it didn't. It didn't all go in there. That was the problem. Uh, <laughs> Gulia Games, I haven't seen you in forever. <laughs> Welcome. I I follow. You know, you you start following so many people, and I know I'm not getting. I know I'm not getting shadow banned. I know it's the fact that you follow so many people, they don't show up in your feed as much. So it's, I have to go through my, uh, I follow my for you page to go through and get something new. And then I have to go back and follow like 17 years worth of, uh, videos in the, the following page just to see somebody I hadn't seen in years or what feels like years. I'm doing good. At least today I'm doing good. I I basically called a customer stupid at work, and that felt so good. Uh, and I did it without actually saying they were stupid. That was the fun part. You keep freezing on TikTok. Well, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, it happened. I I cannot control the TikTok. I can only control the Twitch, and I can only control that a little bit. Yeah, uh, and I, I'm very guilty of going through my For You page because I'm just, I'm a bad person. No, that's, no, that was the amount of sadness that I can generate. Uh, so any topic, I, oh, I, I had, all right. So I had an idea for a magic item today. It's it's one I I was sitting at work, not doing what I was supposed to be doing. You know, a little bit of ADHD kicks in, and uh, I got the idea for like uh, a a mace that when you hit the target, they have to cast their highest level spell. I'm thinking it probably should be on a crit. <laughs> um, a crit and also be really hard to get. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely be hard to get. It would probably be. It would, be, it would definitely not be a common item. <laughs> we're talking. We're talking probably legendary status, but you and have, give it a few few other items, but have it force them to cast their highest level spell. Yeah. On so what themselves. I'm saying is that. Advantage against uh, saving throws against magic. Um, You're calling it the Mage Smasher. <laughs> That's why I think the advantage will work. That way. Oh, you want to do your spell casting? Whack! Crit! Cast Wish. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, the damage is all going to you. We're going to pick one evil spell. And go from there. Hello, Mayday. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Welcome. Welcome to the podcast. What are we in there? Yeah, I got to come up with a... Cause them to burn their magic. Yeah, that's the whole point of it. But, the pseudo-podcast. The pseudo-podcast. <laughs> it's. It looks like a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It looks like a podcast, but it's a mimic. But yeah, that, I, I was I was thinking that would be a fun magic item, just to mess with the players. No, like uh, so you hit them and you crit on it, and they have to cast whatever their highest spell slot is. Uh. They have to wait. They burn a spell slot. They, they burn a spell. It gets cast. If it was fireball, it gets centered on themselves. Any any damaging attack roll spells or or things, they are the the target. It's just a it's just a big fuck you mace. I think that would be a lot of fun. 
just to throw one of them out into a highly magic world. It was probably built by some uh, some fighter that just got tired of wizards. Did a character generator filter enroll the character, everybody? Oh, did a character enroll the... Yeah, I did. Uh, I, I like the... Because I did one of those, and it pulled up that Aarakocra Ranger. And I was like, oh, that seems like that's going to be a good BBEG. People were starting to give suggestions about uh, things he could do in combat, like doing some flybys and dive bombs and things like that. It looked like it was going to be a lot of fun. And no, that won't be on the game for Friday. A fairy artificer? That would be... That would be a lot... I, I, I like the steampunk aspect of it. Making some Fatek. Liverpool Ghost. Battlesmith? You got it. The, the fairy rides the dog into combat. Or better yet, there's a little pilot seat. That would be interesting. What about making the gunner and having, because it says you can make the gun for the, the gunner one have legs and move. What if you made a little mech for a fairy artificer? Pilot seat on a unicorn still defender. Hey, my kobold rides around on her still defender. Yeah. <laughs> Curse yeah. of the giant lizard. Komodo dragon. Yeah, we have a... In our Discord game, uh, well, Angel, which... She's in our chat room. Uh, she also did the art. See, see that one? She did that art. And it's on the t-shirt and on some of the stuff in the Zazzle store, too. Uh, but her one of her characters is a cobalt artificer that rides its still defender. And it's really annoying. <laughs> oh Leave me alone. <laughs> no, no. Annoying is someone with a paladin. That can't be hit, makes all his saves. Oh, we're gonna! I told you, this Friday's game. <laughs> I'm killing everyone. <laughs> I, I, I just, thought we were wanting high levels for the night. <laughs> I, I am killing everyone. What are you gonna do if you can't kill them? Oh, there. See, that's the that's the thing. <laughs> there is no. Oh, you can't kill me. I'm killing your characters. You're in the DM. I say you're dead. <laughs> you got one that's gonna be an absolute pain, and that yeah. Oh, I'm killing it. I am killing everyone. <laughs> this Friday's night game is not for y'all. Friday night's game is for me. <laughs> I think I might need one of those after the last few days I've been having. It's, it's it, I am, I am killing everyone's character. If somebody can get through, here's if somebody gets through Friday night's game without dying, I will level them up to level twenty, right then and there. You might want to hold on to that because we got surprised with what happened last night. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I will kill off. Poor Matt. I will kill. I'm <laughs> killing off every character. Everybody that's playing is going I'm to die. I'm to challenge.
Which one would you rather kill, gemstone or ghost? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Whichever one you put in there. <laughs> Most people complain about how annoying ghost is. It's just pork chop that has issues with gemstone. <laughs> I, I, it doesn't matter who's in there. I, I have a plan. And it's still everyone. <laughs> it's going to be fun. But everyone's going to die. Wow, I want to see what you're throwing at. <laughs> watch, the, watch the stream on Friday night. Uh, we stream it on Twitch from... Uh, it'll be from 8 p.m. Usually until around 11 I figure by 11 p.m. they should all be dead. Now, granted, I imagine um, any game that I am a part of after that as a player from any of the DMs that are on there, I, <laughs> I, I imagine I'm going to have to come up with a few new characters. But... <laughs> Challenge us up in. <laughs> I, I have a funny feeling that some of the other players may become DMs just to take, take out their revenge. <laughs> that's how it's much a possibility. That's how much fun it's going to be. And this is how DMs are made. <laughs> this is for revenge. It's it's hmm. it's going to be a lot it's of fun. It's the best origin story. <laughs> So when you, Why you start think they being use it for rogues all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so what made you become a dungeon master? I played this game and he just killed us. <laughs> <laughs> he killed everyone. And what was bad? Bully, and what was bad? He told us he was gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> for weeks he was saying this. <laughs> and we didn't believe him. Yeah. Oh no, I believe him. <laughs> I was just like, okay, challenge accepted. Next time you're in my game, I'm just going to, you know, dead. <laughs> this is one of those things I've given you fair warning. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm not worried. It's the people that don't believe me that are going to be upset. <laughs> <laughs> in one campaign, I've gone through four characters. I've I've been there early on. Uh, when I first started playing, we went through tons of characters. Well, we went through one character multiple times. You know, <laughs> four generations down the drain. But that was back in the day when we had to use crayons to fill in the numbers on our D20s. Wow. Well, you're taking it back. Yeah, well, I'm I've been I've been playing for that long. That happens. You're new to D and D. Welcome, or you're new to D percentiles. Percentile games. That would be second edition, where all the skills were percents. How do you create a character? The easiest way right now to create a character is to go over to D and D Beyond dot com. And sign up for over there and build a character. They have a literal step-by-step -step thing. You click on it and you have like three options. And one of them says tutorials build. And you can click on that and it will tell you what each of the things you're doing. Uh, and why they're important and whatnot. That's how I'm helping my youngest sister learn. It is the best tool. Uh, it's I think... That is the best tool in tabletop RPGs today for a game, for their game. I don't think any other game system has a tool that works as well as D&D Beyond does for its game. Sure. 
Yeah. I will say it's a bit stereotypical going with the Scottish dwarf. Uh, my personal game world, they all have the, the uh, we didn't go Scottish. We went Russian. And we turned them to sailors. Something drove them from the dark. And sent them out towards the, the sea. The time to see it goes. I can just see a dwarf to a Moana now. <laughs> I'm just owning my friend here. Uh. That's all I can say to that. I have to. Oh. Ah. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> It, it calls me. <laughs> it calls. Oh no. I started something. Yeah, and I'm not happy about it. Every turn I take, every trail I track, every path I make, <laughs> the road leads me back. To the place where I know I cannot go, where I long to be. <laughs> das is good, yeah. <laughs> to the line where the sky meets the sea, it calls me. <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> I now have a new character I'm going to build. His background is going to be Sailor. His class is going to be, I love bard classes. Uh, so he's going to be a bard. <laughs> and that's. <laughs> the wind in my sail on the sea stays behind me. <laughs> breathe, Chris, breathe. <laughs> I think you just killed him. Uh, oh, goodness. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I'll fall, I'll go. <laughs> if you do that, you gotta create Maui too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Runt, God of War, you're welcome. Runt! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Runt, God of War, you're welcome. <laughs> The hair, the beard. <laughs> <coughs> I amuse myself sometimes. <laughs> now I want to go back and watch the movie. <laughs> no, I got to finish my run of Doctor Who. Uh, where we're. We're moving. I'm on the episode where you move from um, from David to Matt. Ah, uh, yep. The 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 Christmas special the last one with Matt with uh Tenant. Yep. Oh, I can't wait for the sixtieth. They got Eccleston coming back for the sixtieth. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I mean, Eccleston was good, but everyone after him was better. <laughs> yeah, my favorite Dr. Smith. Eccleston was awesome because he brought back the series, but my favorite one is Smith. My first Doctor was McGann. McGann? Paul. Paul McGann, the movie Doctor. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that was my first Doctor. But everyone after him was so much better. Wow, yeah. I I, I kind of block <laughs> him out. We don't talk about eight? We don't talk about eight. Oh, no, no, no. We don't talk about Megan. No, no, no. Uh, we also do not talk about the movies that came out prior. 
uh, the Doctor and the Daleks because those were horrible mm -hmm. as well. I mean, they had a good actor, <laughs> but they they didn't they didn't fit the theme of the. I doctor. was looking to get the animated ones. The there's still a few of those. Those those mostly covered uh number two. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Although for my favorite character isn't a doctor. I like River. Oh, River is great. I think from from the seasons I've watched rewatched uh up to this point. Uh Hi, J Captain Jack Harkness. Stop it. <laughs> Just saying hello. And for you, they that's flirting. The <laughs> they called me the face of Bo. The pirate Tom no. has returned. <laughs> Greetings, pirate Tom. What's up? Oh. Angel, I... Did you see the mimic eyeballs one? The the what? Oh. I like the way that looks. Yes, the mouth size is very large, but I made Yeah, the, I'm going to redo the eyes. I made the eyeballs too big on this. <laughs> they 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 disappear when you put it on. Because, you might need to downsize. Yeah, I'm gonna have to shrink them all down to just a small section. But that mouth looks so good. Oh, that mouth looks amazing. I'm gonna have to redo those eyes because I've just improved so much. Because I updated that before I sent it to you. That mouth is just. I'm gonna I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit too on the bandana so it doesn't look like the Joker smile when it comes across. But... <laughs> Looks so but look good. Look at the though. detail that she did on that. That is just it's gorgeous detail. Your players took a left instead of a right. Yeah, I I know that feeling. Tuesday night games. If you watch those, my players, I give them a left, right, a forwards, and a backwards, and they dig a hole <laughs> and avoid it all. Hey, I know don't you, don't bring been, me in on this yet. You, you, you've, been in, <laughs> you've been in one game session. That's awesome. That's awesome. And it's for it's for sale at the Zazzle store. Look at the eyes. The eyes are too big. I am going to be redoing this one. In fact, you know what? I'm going to redo that right now while I'm thinking about it. This see it calls me and I know. Oh. <sighs> Stuff has started. <laughs> You're welcome, Angel. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh, everything went out of focus. That didn't help any. <laughs> that's because you missed it. It was it's hoo ha hoo. Hoo ha hoo. Mama. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a little bit closer. Are you able to screen share? Oh, I guess I can. So I can see if I can help you out here. Go live. Uh. <laughs> this, I'm actually, go I actually have decided what is going to happen on this one. So. Trying to get my camera. Ha ha! I tricked it. Uh, this is actually 
going to be the first item, y'all have heard it here, in the new box. Yay, my art. <laughs> this will be the first item that goes in the new BBEG. But only after the old BBEG goes away. Now, the new one, ooh, that's going to be big. Because that's the box that Gary came in. And Gary is huge. So what do you think, Angel? Somewhere around, around that size? I'm trying to... Mm. Yeah, I think that could work. Maybe enlarge the mouth just slightly. How big was it before? Uh, I I shrank it. I didn't shrink it that much. Uh, but I did. Shrink oh, okay it. then. Yeah, because at this point, I mean, this is going to be wrapped around the side of my head. So yeah, that's yeah, that's what I'm sitting there looking at. That would fold over and yeah, that that looks better. I think that it's gonna one... be one of those trial and error things. Yeah, it's like every time I get one, I'll be like, "Yeah, let's put it a little bit more." <laughs> I drop it down just a hair because you're really close to that halfway fold. Well, there's a when the box isn't highlighted, uh... which that halfway fold is still good. Yeah, that's a good distance there. That's going to be like a, an inch or more below the fold. Because we're doing the diagonal. Yeah, got, that's, one, that's got, one square away diagonal. I, I, I've got you. I've got a ruler sitting on my screen right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Seeing exactly where that divide line is. <sighs> now I've got to make sure it's... That's a, that's about as even as I'm going to get on the eye. Ooh, that is almost perfect on the eye. All right. And the mouth is... Just a wee bit. Corner to corner. Too much. Okay, there's the little teeth. All right. All right, that should that should do it. It's trial and error. That's all we can yep. do at this point. I like this is a twenty-two inch. I I using these are twenty-two inch by twenty-two uh, inch bandanas. I just needed to make the eyes smaller so when I wear it, the eyes are all right here. Right now, I've got, like, the big, I mean, the eye sits, like, from here to here. And it just, it doesn't look the the way I wanted it to to look on the, when I wear it. So, yeah. But, yeah, I do like the big bandanas. It's, it's one with the mimic. <laughs> you order one, you never know if it's going to have the eyes open or not. But yeah, I think that one will work. Done. What's going on with that announcer that everyone wants to kill? That's the... <laughs> that was the <laughs> the news. Because there was a... We got, we got a news... We have a channel on there that says news. Oh, that. So <laughs> I was like, uh, let's post some news. It's at seven thirty in the morning. So <laughs> I I I put a, a a couple of newsboys out. And I lost focus again. Thought it was thought it was funny. People were uh, like, I already hate this guy. <laughs> yeah. So he's like announcements 
OTS, you know, food shortages, and the OTS is doing nothing. <laughs> OTS can't even protect their own. Releasing <laughs> zombies into the streets. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's something that Kipo threw a fit about, was constantly running into zombies on the street because nobody was killing them. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, I I thought that was funny, and I was like, huh, if I could come up with some more every basically, uh, I want to do one of those news after every game that's run. I want to do a little like a news flash, just kind of give a little synopsis, but have it from the re- give it from the perspective of J- of J Jel- Jonah Jameson. There are minutes. <laughs> you know, where oh, no. no matter what's said, it's it's always in the bad the worst light for the for the order. Yeah, I've got all kinds of, of bandanas on there, Tom. I even have like the battle map bandanas. This one's just a, a basic uh, stonework, but there's like, well, some of them have buildings. They're all, they're the only battle mats you can wad up, stick in your pocket, and wash. I need to send you some of mine that I made and that would work on these. Because you like my water. <laughs> yeah, the water one. Oh, yeah. We've got some more coming. We're gonna do a whole little. I got. I've got to go in there and completely revamp the store, and put in sections and stuff. Especially since I've been working on a lot of stuff lately. I've I got, got all those camos make. I'm making too. I. I mean, I've got all those maps that I've made as well that I haven't put on. The, <laughs> just hundreds. We'll get there eventually. I've decided we need like six more people that can actually do active things. Like I'm going to, once I get everything transferred over into the PDF file for all the homebrew stuff that we created, I'm going to need somebody to go through it and format it. Format it. Yeah. So make sure like all of the monsters are formatted the same. Oh, uh, all of the way, yeah. you know? Yeah. That stuff was confusing to go through. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cause they're in they're the layouts a little bit different on them. And I was trying to do that at the beginning or some of it, but with the sheer number that we have, I mean, we have over almost a hundred, we have a hundred plus homebrews that I'm trying to get put into these organized all right oh uh, that's that's what you can help me with angel i'm gonna make the uh, magic siphon creature i like that one for sure for a okay. while we carried d20s on us <laughs> decided where to eat but having a battle mat we could fight for yes you could you very well could you I'm gonna suck the magic right out of these people with these high eight season stuff these are there's yeah, just check out the Zazzle store. It's in the link, and you'll you'll find. I think there's like three or four of them on there right now, but there will be more. Uh, in fact, on my next set of days off, which comes up here, uh, I think Friday. No, Friday. So I think I have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off this week. So it's probably Saturday. Um. I'm going to sit down and just revamp the Zazzle store, kind of organize it a little bit. And maybe get rid of some of the stuff on there that I think is just a little ridiculous. Or just put it in a miscellaneous. This is, We were just trying this out type section. Get all the battle mats together. The battle map bandanas. What are those crazy things that you're wanting to remove? It's not that sure. You know, I got a pair of shoes on there. Oh, that stuff. 
<laughs> we do have shoes too. No, actually we don't because all of the shoes are sold out in every size and every style. Cause I seriously? seriously, all of the, all of the shoes are sold out. Uh, cause I was going to get myself some, cause they have some converse style high tops in there. Yeah. And I wanted to get this put on those shoes. I was like, that would be fucking awesome. I could wear them to work, <laughs> but they're, they're sold out in every size. The hell? Do I have a mimic beer koozies? I will. <laughs> <laughs> I've got mimic coffee cups. Uh, I've got coffee cups that say they're not a mimic, but have eyeballs on them. Uh, there's there's all kinds of stuff on there. Beer koozies. I don't think I've made a koozie yet. That, I would actually like one of those with the mouth on it. I think let's. <laughs> you know what? We're on Zazzle now. Let's make it happen. I've got it pulled Ooh. up. Let me screen share this again. Now, if you want to come and be a part of this live podcast where you can, I can actually hear you speak, you have to come and follow, uh, join us on Patreon, and then you can join into our live podcast. That's what we're calling. We need a name for I need a name. I feel like I'm a little hyperactive right now. Oh, we had bit. it the pseudo podcast. <laughs> the pseudo, the pseudo, the pseudo pod. <laughs> I like, I like that. That yes, Chris, and I will forget this. So send that to me in a message. <laughs> <laughs> because the pseudo pod, <laughs> the, the, the pseudo podcast. Just a little, just a little bit hyper. Uh yeah, it's a lot of. Uh, I was out of nicotine for a lot of the today, like completely out until around lunchtime. So all I had was these, I had some hard candies and so I'm hyped up on sugar and caffeine and finally feeling the effects of it. I will eventually calm down and I will crash. I was gonna say there's always that crash that comes in with it. I I yeah, uh I understand pirate time. I have a lot of Discord servers that I'm members of, but I only go to like I've like taken a bunch of them and shoved them into a folder and I only go to like three or four of them. Uh mostly because I I play on two of them. Uh and lurk I just on, left a bunch. And lurk on a th <laughs> on another one. Because I want to see what my players are doing over on Angel's server. <laughs> <laughs> They've been doing a lot over there. <laughs> Especially during the carnival that's happening. Yeah, I, I, so I, I lurk a little bit on a server every now and then. <laughs> you should have joined the bull riding. No, I was I was just checking to see if something was going on because I didn't see a sign up. Oh, there was. There was sign up for everything that I've been doing. There's been like a little sign up, um, but the bull riding was anybody who shows up can participate. So it was, and it was like several rounds of that. On oh, the Battle of the Bards. <laughs> see. I would have won if a Magnus battle. Was alive. <laughs> Magnus, Mag <laughs> I would have won a battle of the bards. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. We, we had some pretty good. <laughs> I would have broken out some, uh, my guitar. <laughs> oh, I would have broken out my guitar <laughs> just to get advantage. <laughs> <laughs> and the DM would approve. <laughs> I mean, I only know four chords, but I can play a lot of songs <laughs> with those four chords. Well, I mean, that's all you need is a four chord song, and you've, you've written a, a pop hit for the last like sixty years. Occasional D and D live. Yeah, well, I run the all my stuff on the D and on the D and D live. Well, on Discord and do that. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I think I'm starting it's to come down Twitch. a little bit. Zazzle is not wanting to load. 
Thank you, Pirate Tom. I appreciate the likes. A bard is a bard. He likes to get around. <laughs> Lee, I've been working on this other ridiculous thing, though. I don't know if you've seen, like, kind of the basic concept art in the creative corner. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, the doggy. The, the dog. The doggy? Yeah. I gotta check that out. <laughs> I, I've already made a lot more adjustments to him because that was done when I was kind of tired. But the concept art behind this, because I have people that's wanting to play as actual canines and felines. We, we, we have <laughs> we have a canine race. Oh, no, no, not, not humanoid. Not humanoid. These are... <laughs> They're walking around on all fours. <laughs> Where is the creative corner? It's under the tower. We need a search <laughs> to find what channel we're looking for. <laughs> Do they make such a thing? Canine race, like nope. gnolls? No, like like dog people. We have we have a dog. We we created a a canine race based on other other than gnolls. Uh, I have a null race that I'm playtesting right now. But we are, Angel is playtesting a null race. Uh, right now, the, in my world right now, they're still under the rule of their demonic uh, progenitor. But. I'm sad about it. <laughs> things may be changing. Dun, Please. Dun, dun. I love gnolls. All right. I like the things people don't like. So the background, let's let's start it off as black, just to Oh, you flipped him. Yeah, what? No, oh, he's <laughs> talking about the drawing. <laughs> oh, I was like, I didn't yeah. flip anything. It's just Um, because I was drawing him in that way. Uh, originally just to get certain details in because it's better if I flip the drawing once in a while. Mm -hmm. But um, because my dog is right-handed, so flipped it so he's right-handed. What the heck? Robin Hood and Little John walking through the forest. <laughs> He needs a cap. He needs an archer cap. No, I'm not putting a cap on him. But it's an archer cap with a feather. I'm not putting a cap on him. <laughs> the druid one is going to be a blast, I think, though. Yeah, because I adjusted some things like with his arm. Let's see. Do I need to adjust that too? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Oh, great. Now I got left foot stuck on my head. So, yeah, the we do have a, a canine. We just basic, it's just a basic. It's when you're dealing with it, it's just a reskin something. You're a mimic <laughs> fan, right? Uh, maybe. Checking bandana. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I like mimics. Welcome to the Mimic Army. <laughs> Do not like that background color. Let's. Uh, 
at this dark. A purplish background could be fun too. Oh yeah, just what we need. They mimic to have more camouflage. <laughs> <laughs> the camo mimic. So well, let's see if I can. I know there's a way of doing this. Hello, Clarice. It's advantage on hide. Yep, that's not the button. <laughs> nope, that's not the button. Damn it! Where's the button at? I, I know there's one. I I just liked myself. <laughs> 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 oh, there it is. Flip. Hmm. Kind of like that. Oh, I gotta put the camera back where it can be used. Oh, oops, it's sideways. Camel mimic sounds redundant. It does sound redundant, but it's still good so here ah damn it it needs a back okay back image yeah lee this is what i'm working on here oh uh, we got multiple streams to watch. Hold on. <laughs> I can only see so many streams at once. <laughs> Needs to be placed in the Ten Towns region of Icewind Dale. <laughs> Go ahead, take my beer. Uh, all right, I'll flip this back around so we can. There we go. We have a mimic. We now have mimic beer koozies. Hello. Ask, and you shall uh, a cruel ice snow snowman mimic. Ask, and you shall be able to buy. Ask, and you shall be able to buy. Voodoo. <laughs> Why are you barking? I think I'm gonna have to close my stream down because I can't see yours yet, Angel. It's not. Oh, that's okay. not. Not pulling up for me. It's just giving me the. The circle well, of death. The circle. The square, the dancing squares. Giving you the dancing squares. Got it. I don't know why. <laughs> oh. The hamster I, dance. I can, I can put an image on the bottom as well. That would be a great place for your logo. Just... That would be an excellent place for the logo. I don't know why it's doing that. There it goes. And copyright. <laughs> what the, I could have done the whole thing in one slot. One, one spot. That's... I think I fixed it. Yeah, it's saying that it's fixed. There it goes. All right, let's... They're wanting to play. Doggo. Yeah, because this is something I, I have people that are wanting to play. They're wanting to play true canines and felines in almost a post-apocalyptic world where there's not really going to be any humans. And these oh. animals are a lot more intelligent through the Awoken spell and whatnot. 
in that they have been like this for many generations. Okay. <laughs> So they're, yeah. they're, not, they're not wanting to play it in my game. No, so you, no, 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 okay. no, 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 no. One of my things. Okay. Whew. No. No. <laughs> A cockroach rogue. He'll be indestructible. <laughs> I was, but I've been having fun with the idea. worried. Uh... No, but I've been having fun with this idea. <laughs> I think it's dumb but fun at the same time. <laughs> oh, would I love to be a fly on the wall? <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <laughs> All right, let's see what this looks like. That's just something that people are wanting to do just for the hell of it. But I've been working on a whole, like, race and variants for it. Tricky. Tricky the rogue. No. <laughs> My lizard is acting like he heard his name, and then I don't like that. Yeah, lizard, 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 lizard. And he knows his name. Be polite. Where's a good Drake? <laughs> Oh, Lee, um, did you fin see my finished knoll? Uh, no, I never saw it finished. Here, hold on, let me bring that uh, up. Let me... All right, we're going to... I'll work on bringing it up and show it to you. So here would be... the finished... beer koozie. It's the Mimic. It attacks based on the type of beer you have inside it. That, that will be... Ooh. Get over here. Get over here. Or I can see you just better. And there you go. <laughs> uh, hi. Angel, you're too talented for your own good. <laughs> I'm really happy with her. That is... That looks freaking awesome. Uh-huh. So if my uh, null thing, my null race goes okay with playtesting, this will probably be the artwork on that. Okay. But I don't know. But I'm really happy with this. Is my character that I've been playing on my server to playtest it. So. <laughs> and I got other people that's going to be working on playtesting in a couple other games. But I'm really happy with that. I, I'm thinking about going back to my realism. <laughs> Copy. Paste. Where's the paste? There we go. But that looks very, very cool. 
Uh, mimic army. Um, uh, dungeons and dragons. Good enough. Hi, Rodnick. We have another person to sacrifice oh. to the gods. Oh, and he left. <laughs> he disappeared. <laughs> we have lost our sacrifice. Well, Pirate Tom, it is now available to purchase on our Zazzle store which you could take up to 24 hours to show up and there's results for it. But if you hit the store in the link, it shall be on there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's almost time for me to go to sleep. So I have to go to work. Work is for losers. No, just kidding. We I, don't need it. <laughs> my, I would love to stay on here longer, but... To do that, I would need at least 3,000 Patreon supporters. And the way it's running now, I'm getting one Patreon supporter for every 1,000 TikTok followers. So I would need, what, 300,000 <laughs> 300, followers? On TikTok, somewhere in that vicinity. Find my art too. <laughs> somewhere in that vicinity. All right, Timothy, just come come and watch it and and watch me kill everyone. He will try. No. <laughs> they, they're saying I'll try to kill. And he will succeed. <laughs> it's going to be fun. But that's all I'm going to do for tonight. I have to get some sleep uh, so I can get up and go to work tomorrow. So thank you all so much for coming by and hanging out with us for our pseudo podcast. Uh, we'll be back here next Monday and doing this all again, just BSing and talking and stuff. And then, but tomorrow we have the black door game where our group of assassins are, I don't know what they're doing anymore. They're reenacting brave, brave, Sir Robert. Sir Robert runs away <laughs> from money Python. Uh, Robin, I'm Robin. I brought in a chaotic character. But, <laughs> and then uh, Wednesday night, I am, I think this Wednesday, I'm over at the Chaotic Rollers. Uh, and then Thursday, I'm, I'm not planning anything for Thursday, but Friday, I will be killing all the players in my Friday night game. So until next time, y'all have a good night and go forth and roll some dice. Thursday, I got arena stuff happening over on my server. <laughs> hey, but I can't oh, that goes to the same of you on Twitch. Go forth and roll some dice. Yeah.